everybody. Welcome to a Cinefix semicircle discussion. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna do that again. I don't like that. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome back to another Cinefix Now Roundtable. Uh, there are five of us. We are still here in this room, still sans table. I feel really mm. short. I think my table's a, or my chair is a good like uh, four inches shorter than. Okay, yours. I'll make my posture worse. Yeah. You make your posture better. No. Oh, making my posture better doesn't really feel like a sustainable Does it? option. Okay. Well, <laughs> Casey let's... can sit up straight. You can yeah, do... that feel right. That doesn't feel right at all. <laughs> Plus, um... you're in the same height chair as I am. <clears throat> oh, okay. Yeah. You're just naturally taller than He's I am. He's got an excessively long torso. Mm. This is true. Yeah, your legs are, are freakishly short. <laughs> Sausage legs. Yeah. Wow. That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> well, on. This, this is what happens right. when you join a round table. Yeah, welcome aboard, oh, by okay. the way. It's like a hazing. We right. keep slowly, like, over the past six months or so, just, like, gradually letting you do things. Yeah. <laughs> I have, like, a trickle of things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're very, mm. not, not all at once. No. Because that's going to go to your head. Yeah. And on those legs, you're not going to be able to support that. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody needs that. Nobody wants that. No. All right, well, down to business. Today what we want to talk about <laughs> is some of the smaller movies that are coming out in September because the summer summer movie months is officially gone. No no more giant movies, uh, at least not until we start getting into November, uh, you know, November, Oscar December. Uh, for now, though, we're stuck with a few movies that are sort of big, you would say. Uh, Maze Runner coming out in September. Mm -hmm. There's a few that, that live in kind of this mid-range... Sort of studio movies, but not really like big movies. There's movies like Everest uh, is coming out. It's got a big cast. The Walk, the Joseph Gordon-Levitt and his tightrope and the... And the lack of eyebrows. And the lack of <laughs> eyebrows. Those French and their lack of eyebrows. <laughs> so there's a handful of movies like that that are sort of mid-range, but we wanted to talk about some of the legitimately really small movies that maybe you're not aware of or maybe you haven't heard much about. Uh, so what we did is we all picked one and we did a little bit of research on it, and uh, we're just going to talk about them. Book report style. So every time we take turns doing something, we always start down there. So Anna. Sweet. Yeah. Okay, guys. I'm talking about Dragon Blade. Now, Dragon Blade. <laughs> <laughs> Pause for laughter. So excited. I am. Okay. So Dragon Blade is technically not a tiny movie, but only in China. Um, because it's already made a buttload of money in China, where it's from. Uh, now, so giant, so giant Chinese movie. Giant Chinese equals movie. Small American movie. Yeah, okay. yeah. It, I mean, that's that's pretty much the standard because yeah. you know we import a lot of our movies over there, but they they don't really import as many of Never theirs over here, way. like to actually see on the big screen. Uh, so Dragon Blade is actually an interesting one. Um, it, it's got a kind of bizarre, awesome cast. Um, Jackie Chan, which. Awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, Adrian Brody, which, hey right? Mm -hmm. John Cusack, which, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, so I hear this and I'm thinking, uh, this, this is a comedy, right? Mm -hmm. Because this seems like the setup sure. for a comedy. It's actually a, a war, uh, not exactly war epic. It's, it's got a lot of fighting in it. It's, um, it's, it's a semi-true story, but not really. Um, mm -hmm. Like kind of in the vein of 300 where they kind of take historical fiction and then sort of throw most of the history actually out right. the window. Um, one of the cool things though is that it's the first movie from China that actually focuses on Romans. Uh, the main premise is about this this Roman army, this um, like one group from this Roman army that, that disappeared on the Silk Road in China. Huh. You know, Jackie Chan gets to do his awesome Jackie Chan thing. He, as always, does his own stunts. Uh, Isn't he like 90 years old? Now? Something like that, yeah. Uh, in, in stunt man years, yes. Stunt man yeah. years, yeah. Will you just speed up the film? In it's reality, like he's, he's really fast. <laughs> right. <laughs> movie magic. When you're watching the trailer, it's really strange because Adrian Brody is doing an accent of some sort. I don't know exactly right. what it is. John Cusack is just being John Cusack, except not using contractions. Okay. Um, That's his accent. He's doing data. So yeah, kinda. Oh, and and everyone else and everyone data. just has bad wigs. My my accent is robot. Yeah. Um, I know you um, said this is serious, but it really sounds like you're describing. It's I know. Yeah. Yeah. I, I I was bad wigs. Yeah, I was expecting it like to hear that this was terrible. That like you know or or find out that it was a comedy, which yeah. I think it's also a great setup for a comedy, especially with that cast. Uh, but apparently, it's really good. Uh, the director Daniel Lee, who also wrote it, um, apparently he's it's one of the best things he's ever done, uh, and and everyone is giving it a lot of praise, although I haven't really heard any mention of acting by John Cusack mm -hmm. in any of these reviews. Well, look, John Cusack hasn't done anything on screen in a while. Yeah. Not to say that he hasn't been in movies, because he's been in movies. 
He just hasn't done anything on screen in a while. Shows up. Well, yeah. Um, well, but. Anna was watching the trailer earlier, and our boss wandered by, and he he kind of stopped and did a double take and went like, "Wait, is that?" Like a Chinese army epic, yeah, with John Cusack's head pasted yeah. over the top of some character's <laughs> well, face. Because I remember seeing pictures of Cusack, <laughs> like, like all face dubbing people. Yeah, themselves. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I remember seeing pictures of him all done up like Genghis mm -hmm. Khan and everything, and, and it reminded me of, of John Wayne as Genghis Khan. And I was like, Are they? Do what are they doing? Yeah. Like, why? Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't seem. But like... if it's about a Roman, a group of Romans, yeah. Yeah. then that yeah. makes sense. Yeah, I mean, it's it's really an interesting sounding story, and like I said. The, the reviews for it are all incredibly positive. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, I'm actually going to get to see it. So it's a, it's a case of like, wait a minute. Yeah. This is good? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. I, I'm, like I said, I'm going to get to see it next week, so I'll actually yeah. find out uh, if it's if it's any good. But, um, I mean, I think that they also should have just taken the whole same cast and basic premise and also done a comedy version because yeah. that would have been awesome. Well, it's like, like yeah, it's just the last style take, do the silly <laughs> Just, that would be great. Just yeah. get the sillies out on the last take, guys. I mean, it's. It, I was saying with our when our boss wandered by, it's like those are both solid like B B minus <laughs> list actors at this point. Yeah. And you just know that this Chinese production company came to them and they're like, dude, do you want to be an action star? Yeah. Right. Give it one more shot like, to you, be an action star. Because this is this is, this is literally your reason. only chance. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but doing my research for this movie, came across the. Apparently, there's an Urban Dictionary definition for Dragon Blade, which has to do with a penis uh, becoming erect and then giving the person who became erect a black eye with the, their own penis. That's, that's physically impossible. <laughs> that's not a thing. Like, your, your Urban penis Dictionary says so. Face. So, so you, you get hard <laughs> and then you poke yourself in the eye with it? Well, I mean, you, somebody, I'm, not a, I'm not a flexible guy. Well, so it might be possible for I just don't see how that works. So if you're John Hamm on Mars, you can do it. <laughs> I uh, no, I mean you have what? to bend. You have to bend in half to do it, right? I mean right. it's not. I think you can. Bend well, like you have to be oh. like a contortionist. Yeah, or like to even be possible. you well, have to have recently fallen downstairs or something. Yeah, yeah. or like you're already <laughs> able to look at your own butt. So if you <laughs> exactly, Christina, what movie do you want to talk about? <laughs> oh, please. Okay. <laughs> let's just move on. Let's let's give if it's a, a movie few about dicks. So I'm, that, I'm <laughs> skipping you and so that Clint can like cut out whatever that he needs to cut out. <laughs> so everybody be quiet for a few audio. frames. <laughs> I'm leaving the penis stuff in. <laughs> so another um, sort of smallish feeling movie uh, that's coming out in September is Ashby, um, which is about uh, Nat Wolf as a teenager moves to a new town with his mom, uh, played by Sarah Silverman, and um, he befriends the, the grouchy old man in the neighborhood who teaches him lessons about life, I guess. <laughs> Uh, which Here we go again. Okay. <laughs> classic awkward kid so of a single mom gets a, a boy, father figure. Saint Vincent. Saint Vincent. Vincent yeah. Yeah. Saint Vincent. Um, the Karate Kid, for that matter. Mm, sure. Kind of up, except in this case, the the guy, the old man next door is Mickey Rourke, and he's an ex CIA assassin. So oh, that's, that's awesome. <laughs> that's okay. That's kind of. Also, the tagline of the movie is, like, you have to learn to take a punch or take a hit. Because uh, basically, the, the assassin teaches this nerdy about to get beat up by all the kids at his new school how to how to, how to, how to, how to, how right. to take a punch yeah. or take a hit, and so he gets on the football team because be, playing football is pretty much about how to take a hit too, right? And playing uh, football also solves all of your problems. Yes. Yes. Playing football definitely solves the people at school want to beat you up problems, like for real. Uh, but <laughs> in true. movies, it solves all the other problems too. <clears throat> Um, so he's an ex. Is he like on the on the lamb, or is he? I think the the movie presents him as retired, but maybe not entirely. Ah. Uh, or the trailer does. I like anyway. how you almost did a Doctor Evil yeah. thing just then. <laughs> so the end of the movie, all the kids that were going to beat him up are dead. Probably. Probably. So I mean, like the the trailer makes it look fairly amusing, but at the same time, the plot seems so like wrote that I'm not quite sure what to think of it. I'm going to have to see what the uh, reviewers out there say. But I'm the, but I'm like a pretty big fan of their casting here. So Yeah, Sarah Silverman and Mickey Rourke seems like it could be it could be fun. Weird fun. But yeah, no, it's it's that kind of we've all seen this movie before. Let's tweak it a little yeah. sort of formula. Well, which... and it's it's it looks like it's tweaked at least enough that Sarah Silverman says the word vagina in the trailer. Uh -huh. So that's so we know we're getting a little edgy. 
Sure. Yeah. Maybe a little edgy. Silverman. Yeah. Yeah, I think with these movies, you know, every time they do it, the filmmakers coast too much on like, well, this time it's with these people. Right. You know, instead yeah. of actually writing a different movie. Yeah. So hopefully it'll be... Did you like Hugh Grant? We've got Bill Murray this time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And again, like John Cusack and Adrian Brody, this feels like it's... it's I, I like all the, everybody in this cast, yeah. but again, it's not like AA listers. It's like right. these are the people who will work with the the foreign uh, foreign filmmakers if they if the money and timing works out okay. Yeah. So. Well, and, and a lot of times those are the people too that that make a, a familiar story a little more interesting. Oh, oh, definitely. So. I think that was that's like actively the right choice yeah. for a situation like this. Um, anything about penises in this movie? <laughs> Only vaginas. Only vaginas. Okay. But you'll have to see the movie to make sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you gonna go see it? Are you gonna track it down? I might. I mean, it, it really. Well, you it doesn't, brought it up in the rant. It, too. I, I will. Pr I mean, I, I would like to, but at the same time, it also feels like the sort of movie one can intend to see and then be too busy one weekend. That, yeah. And so non-committal on the penis hunt. <laughs> Not gonna hunt. But penis. if and when it pops up on Netflix, Do I am so in. Eye? Yeah. <laughs> if it pops up on Netflix. <laughs> and pokes me in the eye uh, with its dragon blade. Nice. <laughs> I feel good about it. The dragon blade <laughs> is the bruise? No, it's or the penis. The, the, it's the, the penis, penis it gives the no, bruise. No, it's the act. It's, it's so the once momentum. A, okay, but yeah. once a penis gives somebody a black eye, is it is it henceforth a dragon blade? I believe so. That's a dragon so. bruise. Right, well, the, the, blur, the, the bruise is, but the penis, I believe, is, is the, blade. the blade. The blade. You are cordially invited to Casey's Dragon Blade Party. Oh, no. Uh, hard pass. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, hard, okay. exactly. Yeah. So it's my turn. Uh, and I'm cheating just a little bit because I've already seen this movie. Uh, I saw it at Sundance this ah. year. Didn't you make the rules for this round? Table? I did, so I can break them. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, that's how it works. Uh, you're new here, but that's how it works. Gotcha. <laughs> um, but the, this movie is Mississippi Grind, and it's Ryan Reynolds and Ben Mendelsohn, um, who are both fantastic. But uh, but it's about two two gamblers. Ben Mendelsohn is kind of the main character, and he's this gambler who's really down on his luck and just just living a, a horrible, horrifying existence, lonely and all that awful stuff. Uh, but then Ryan Reynolds is his normal Ryan Reynolds charming self. He's also a gambler and they, their paths cross and he essentially a, becomes kind of a good luck charm for Ben <laughs> Mendelsohn. So it's them um, going down the Mississippi and just gambling and getting not into a whole lot of trouble, but getting real sad. Like the whole way, it's a movie it's that. Not like a road trip buddy comedy. It's not a road trip buddy comedy. It's it's a really sad movie, and the the. Aww. But it's it's really effectively sad. It's a really interesting movie about a really sad topic. But Ryan Reynolds is is awesome and charming because you know you know me. I'm a big Ryan Reynolds fan. I like the guy. I did not know that. You didn't know that? No. Oh, but Ben Mendelsohn is like spectacular. Like he ought to get some award recognition for it. He's he's getting a lot of good publicity from being in Bloodline, mm -hmm. um, but uh, but the, he's spectacular in this movie. And Alfre Woodard makes a cameo in wow. it, um, and she's terrifying. She mm -hmm. she's like a loan shark, <laughs> and she's only got one scene, and she's terrifying. Mm -hmm. And it's it's really good. So there's some great performances in it. But it's by um, uh, filmmakers uh, Anna Bowden and Ryan Fleck. And they did Half Nelson with Ryan oh, Gosling, where he was the, the teacher with the heroin problem. And he got an Oscar nomination. Yeah, for that. yeah, yeah. So it's got a really good pedigree. And the other thing, the other reason I wanted to talk about it is because it's a movie that's being distributed by A24, mm. which over the past couple of years, like if I see the A24 logo, I immediately start taking the movie more seriously. Mm -hmm. hmm. They did Ex Machina most recently, yeah, um, so A Most Violent Year, Lock, yeah. that movie with, that was apparently awesome. I missed it, but it was uh, Tom Hardy in a car for two hours, and mm. apparently it was spectacular. Um, the Witch, which is a, a horror movie that's coming out sometime yeah. next year. The trailer just landed this week is another A24 movie. But all of the movies that they do are these great independent sort of passion projects. So yeah, it's uh, all the movies that they make are just, they're just really good. These really solid movies. And it's interesting that they come, they showed up I think three, four years ago. Uh, but everything they've done since has been like worth watching. H24 but anyway, it does kind of blend like immediate li like street cred to me. Yeah, whenever yeah. I see that they're behind something. Street cred, I think, is the right word for it because it's like it, it, you might not like it, it might not be your thing, but it's mm -hmm. gonna be really well made. Totally. There's another yeah. movie, actually, another movie with Ben Mendelsohn in it um, uh, called Slow West that mm -hmm. um, I just am meaning to see. It's in my queue. Mm -hmm. um, 
but it's that one is Michael Fassbender and Cody Smith McPhee. I've seen the trailer. I yeah. almost saw that at the Sundance Sunset. It was playing over there for a little while, and then I decided to drink at home instead. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but that one looks yes. really... <laughs> Probably why I'm not going to see Ashby. Because we're going to be at home drinking. Well, uh, who are we kidding? We're not going to see any of these movies. <laughs> we're all just going to be at home drinking alone. Um, Some people with dragon yeah. blades. Some people with dragon blades. <laughs> oh, which, no. look, I'm still unclear. It's the act. Yeah. <laughs> it's I think the physics. So if I were to give myself a dragon blade, it's just the whole uh, the whole thing? It's not... The, it, Urban Dictionary is, is not it always clear. It has to be the act, because if it's just the dong, <laughs> then that's just you having a boner. I think well, it's the yeah, phenomenon. But, well, I know, yeah, but, but you also... It's the boner. It's a of set of circumstances. But, but it, it also but, might be you as the person with the giant peen. <laughs> I I am a dragon blade. No, 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 no. If I were to give myself a black yeah, eye, then you, you, you are, the, are dragon. the dragon blade. No, no, no. Once the peen comes in contact with the eye, it is donned the dragon blade. That's so if the I I'm thinking. if yeah. I were to give myself a black eye with my own wiener, right. <laughs> <laughs> the wiener would then become a dragon blade forevermore. Maybe it's the Henceforth? instrument of the dragon blade. That's what makes the most right. sense to me. Okay, look. But we'll, it could we'll, also kill you. We'll so. figure the rest of this out after. Yeah. We'll after uh, back to it. Yeah, we'll come we back. always do. <laughs> We're going to come back to it. Casey, what movie do you want to talk about? I want to talk about Finders Keepers. <laughs> Great. Yeah. T, what movie do you want to talk about? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, come on. Oh, yeah. This movie okay. is starring the Shannon Winsnat and John Wood. Okay. Have you heard of them? They're... No, no, no. These these guys are just two rednecks from North Carolina. This is a documentary by J. Clay Tweel and Brian Carberry. Yes. I feel like you're making this yeah. up. No, no, no. You just this free associated is, a bunch of This is real words. life. This is okay. real life. All right. Uh, these two guys work together on a little documentary called Make Believe, which is about a bunch of little high school kids who just <laughs> really want exactly to be magicians. Which is exactly what you're doing right now. Mm-hmm. Adorable. So they know their stuff. Anyway, this documentary is about uh, this man, Shannon Winsnet, who buys a grill at an auction, and he takes it home, and he opens it up, and he finds a human foot. Oh, yeah, I've heard of this. One. And he's like... Oh, get out of here, fuck my grill. And then he becomes this like, like local celebrity. He's on all the news channels, like local man finds local foot. Sure. On the other side of this is John Wood, the man who this foot belongs to. And he hears about this whole thing and he's like, who is this guy and why does he have my foot? What? <laughs> so then it turns into this legal battle because he wants his foot back, but Shannon doesn't want to give up the foot because he loves being famous. Because he was keeping the foot in the grill he, like you do yeah. so that he oh, could be buried with it. became a tourist attraction. He's the, the guy with the foot in the grill. Yeah, and people Man. would just come to see it. I have so many questions. <laughs> How did the foot get into the grill? Uh, How did the dude know it was his foot? Did he leave a? No, no, that was, it literally. Foot? He yeah. was. He had his foot amputated, and he was storing it in his grill. Was he? Until he could be buried with it. How is it not like? Like totally gross. How is it and not and just decomposed? decomposed. Maybe well, he yeah. smoked it. Maybe that was Maybe why got it was in the grill. Somehow. Maybe he like, watched Pain and Gain and saw the part where the rock grills yeah. that foot, and he was just like, "Aha!" Aha! <laughs> I heard about this on a podcast, which mm. is why I have a little like side side yeah. background. Mm. Uh, but and also because you're Christina, it did you not always just have. It did knowledge. not give any background on what like the preservation method of this foot was. As funny as this sounds, there's actually this slight tragic side to it because John Wood is like really depressed all the time and he thinks that by getting his foot back, he'll like bring himself out of this funk. That's absurd. Uh, he lost his father like, in a, a plane accident. I think he was involved as well. Just like a string of bad luck. And he's thinking, this is my last chance to have something good happen to me. By getting the foot, getting, getting my his own foot, foot, foot back. back. Yeah, but on the other side, Shannon's just like, I've been praying to be a celebrity since I was a little kid. It's, God sent this foot down from heaven to answer oh, my man. prayers. You're just like, wow, I, I, they're amazing characters. Okay, well, look, I feel like you can fit a dragon blade almost anywhere in that movie, though. Mm. Uh... Yeah, how much better would it be <laughs> no, for a dragon? No, you can't. <laughs> I, like I, I cannot find an instance to no. stick a dragon totally blade in there. Sorry. Okay. 
Well, that's one that we'll have to track down. But this is, the good thing about a lot of these movies is they're like day and date, and you could probably get them on iTunes. Mm-hmm. You can rent them on iTunes the same day they're in theater somewhere too. So. Yeah. And then you can stay home and drink. And then you can drink by yourself and watch these movies. Win, win, win. <laughs> exact. Whenever they come out on the September twenty fifth. <laughs> I thwack you ineffectually yeah. with my box <laughs> I, I earned that one. T, what are we, uh, um, you proud of that? Are you proud of that one? No, So September and October are kind of slow times of year, and uh, this is when black people movies often come out. <laughs> uh, as you guys may or may not be aware, I'm the black one. So The Perfect Guy is coming out in September, which is, you know, it's probably going to have a fairly wide release, a wide-ish release. Uh, it's got Sanaa Lathan, Michael Ealy, Morris Chestnut, and Rutina Wesley from uh, <laughs> True Blood. Huh. So, you know, there is sort of this, like, cabinet of blackters who are in all of the movies uh, that need black people. And sure. they just sort of rotate, like, the best man. In fact, Michael I'm Ealy pretty was... sure uh, Sanaa Lathan and Morris Chestnut are also in the best man in the, like, sequels. Which, I haven't seen those, but I'm pretty sure they're in those no. too, but... You know, whenever these movies come up, it's the same blackers over and over and over. I feel like Michael Ely has been in all of them since Almost Human, since the the yeah. show he the show he was on on Fox, mm-hmm. which I love that show, mm-hmm. and he was and awesome. He was in Barbershop, which is another black people movie. Yeah. So there you go. But uh, I mean, I like all of these actors for the most part. I mean, I forgive Rutina Wesley for True Blood, that <laughs> piece of. <laughs> <laughs> really nice. Not a True Blood fan. Yeah. <laughs> do not care for it. But uh, the director is David M. Rosenthal, who hasn't done a ton of stuff, and it seems like he kind of started more in comedy. Like, one of his first credits is See This Movie, which had Seth Meyers and John Cho in it, came out in 2004. I don't remember it at all. Never seen it. Never hmm. heard of it. And then he also did a single shot once he sort of was moving more into more serious movies, which was in 2013. Had Sam Rockwell and Jeffrey Wright. So nice casting. Yeah, that's They're good like casting. Real actors. But again, a movie that no one's really heard of, so who knows if it's any good. Yeah. But I feel like if Sam Rockwell and Jeffrey Wright signed on, it had to be a good script. It's, periodically, there's those movies that somebody, like a good cast, agrees to do, and then... No one they're, knows about they, it. Yeah, yeah, they're just gone completely. So it's like you see these movies that are you know, in the bargain bin at a check stand somewhere, yeah. and it's like, wait, how in the hell is Sam Rockwell and Jeffrey Wright in this? Yeah, yeah like the, the two star in movies on like cable at you know, 11 right. p.m. on Friday night. It's like, oh, it's a Julia Roberts movie. But it's not a real Julia Roberts. Yeah, it's you know? it's weird because you just assume that they're bad and those actors were tricked into being yeah. in the movie. But they had some gambling debts. Or yeah, something. exactly. Like I want a boat. Totally. I'll, do, I'll be in it. Just give me a boat. Don't don't pay me. Just sign over a boat. Just give me a boat. Just give me a boat. Pay me and boat. If you pay me, I'm just gonna use the money on a boat and for taxes. I, I just just give me a boat. Um, <laughs> The they writer probably is just a guy him. named Tiger Williams. It's Tiger with a Y, by the way. Unfortunate. Yes. And <laughs> this guy has almost no other credits. I looked at his IMDb, and the really only other mentionable credit is Menace to Society. So it was Menace to Society in 1993, nothing, and now this. So, As a, he, <laughs> so those, are, those are the movies that he's written? Yeah. He wrote And me- that's it. It's wow. not like he has credits for doing, like, gaffing or something yeah, else. Like, yeah. It's just, like, two writing credits for the most part, and that's it. I wonder if he was in a coma God. or something. Maybe. Or like a Rip Van and Winkle now. And then he woke yeah. up and he was just like, I need to do Black Fatal Attraction. Wait a minute. <laughs> but, but, okay, so like, you see Menace of Society and you're like, that's so cool. Like, does it does it ruin his coolness to now have something else on there that's not as cool? I don't know. I mean, I, mean, I don't know if it's as cool. the movie will be good, but I have no expectations that it will be based on the trailers. I actually saw their second trailer before Agent 47, which was another mistake. Uh, <laughs> and that one was a completely dialogue-free version where um, it was all set to I've Got a Spell on You. Hmm. And you basically see the entire movie in the yeah. trailer. But the basic gist of it is Sanaa Lathan is dating Morris Chestnut. They're in a serious relationship. They break up because I think he won't commit or something like Some usual reason that right. people break up. And then she meets Michael Ely and they have an, a fling and she sh- soon enough realizes he's crazy and she's right. like all right that's the end of that 
gets back with Morris Chestnut, and then Michael Ely is not having it and starts stalking her and, you know, like, looking at her showering. And, it's fatal attraction. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's yeah. the usual. That's hmm. funny, because, like, all the all the uh, billboards and stuff for it are like, but which one do you trust? Yeah, it's like, pretty obvious well, which I, one to trust. Well, like, we know now. Well, unless there's some sort of Shia Malayalian twist at the end. <laughs> yeah, what if there was? They're actually the same person. Yeah. 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 It's a Tyler Durden thing, not a, yeah. not a fatal attraction. She is actually thing. all of them. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I feel like even if there is some kind of twist, when Michael Ely is hiding under your bed while you're <laughs> sleeping, which happens in the trailer, it's safe to assume you definitely can't trust him. Well, what if well, it's just maybe a, you wait, also can't trust maybe, Morris Chestnut. Yeah. Maybe he's shell-shocked and just needs to be there for comfort. Also not a good thing. That sounds comforting to me. <laughs> <laughs> He's just worried Casey's about you. wrong. No one Don't else take is going to sneak up on you while you're sleeping. Yeah. You got eyes down there. It's true. He probably <laughs> would actually kill anyone who else who came in. Probably. Yeah, he could make sure that Howie Mandel isn't under your bed like he was a little monster. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Although, God. that was fun. <laughs> that, that movie was, fun. was good. We've decided. Yep. Little Monsters yeah. came. No one will tell us different. Uh, little Monsters came up a couple of weeks ago. Really? In the round yeah. Table, so, yeah. Yeah. As, not as very a, with this movie. Apparently, <laughs> apparently not. not I random literally at all. haven't thought about that movie in about 10 years. I yeah. did not when, realize that was Howie Mandel until you literally just said Really? That. really? Because I saw it when I was a kid. I forgot about ball? Howie Mandel entirely. <laughs> and then it I forgot kind of almost all of the details of the movie. Me, knowing it's Howie Mandel mm-hmm. because of how he is now. Okay. <laughs> is there any anything else coming out in September that we need to talk about? Well, other than that the we, ones that we disclaimed at the top of the Yeah, we excluded the ones that we don't want to talk about. <laughs> Casey, you could talk about cooties. No, you got a whole other thing yeah. when you talk about cooties. Right. No, I feel like I need to. I, yeah, you I'm need to hold, hold off on the cooties. There are a couple of horror movies. We're sneaking up on horror yeah. movie yeah, season because uh, uh, Good Night Mommy is a, is yeah. a German uh, yeah. horror movie that looks insane. We're gonna go yeah. see that next oh, week. Germans are already scary. Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, great. And did we settle the Dragon Blade thing? No. No. Not at all. There might be a couple I, dragon blades in the perfect guy. I feel like there's a very real I feel chance. like that has the greatest potential. Yeah, dragon because blade of stereotypes. Yeah. Because of stereotypes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Well, get down to the comments right now and let us know what you think about dragon blades. <laughs> Uh, and any of these movies that we discussed. What are some small movies that you're looking forward to going to see in September uh, and beyond? Let us know down in the comments below. Click like and subscribe and stick around here on Cinefix for all of our awesome movie content. And most of it does not deal with Dragon Blades. As far as I know, I'm not around for a lot of the other shows. I don't watch any Any, movies. any, what's the difference Dragon Blades have? Uh, yeah, it will be now. Oh, oh good. Oh, what's the difference yeah. between a Dragon Blade and just being rude? <laughs> Now, if you poke someone else in the eye with your pain, is that an assisted dragon blade?